Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Thunder Steve 85 Gaming and thank you for tuning in to my latest episode about the Game On Expo weekend here in Phoenix, Arizona. So just this past weekend, we had the Game On Expo in downtown Phoenix and it was a great time, let me tell you. A lot of gamers showed up, a lot of people into the cosplay anime scene. If that's your thing, you would have enjoyed it. But really it's for video games, that's the main focus. There were vendors everywhere. I'm talking like all sorts of video game stores, Tons and tons of rare, rare treasures. I mean, games that you never ever see out in the wild and I got them on camera. So that's what we're gonna show you today is I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes kind of tour. Now I did wanna give a general disclaimer that there is gonna be some background noise because I was recording in a large convention center and there is a lot of people there. So again, just a general disclaimer. Hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. Now at the Game On Expo, there's like all sorts of fun stuff to do guys. There's more than just shopping for classic video games. They have video game tournaments. They held the retro World Series. Last year I participated in the Retro World Series for NBA Jam Tournament Edition and I actually won the whole tournament. I am the grand champion. And because they didn't have it this year, they had the Retro World Series but they didn't have NBA Jam. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm still the grand champion but this is what I got last year and I'll show you guys there. That's the Retro World Series and then on the back here we got the NBA Jam TE sticker. So I won that last year, and this year they didn't have NBA Jam TE, which, to be honest with you, I was fine with. I was excited to play in the tournament, as always. Anytime you win a tournament and you can defend your title, it's always exciting and an adrenaline rush. But the fact that I didn't have to do it, I just took it in stride and said, okay, well, I'll just be able to spend more time on the show floor, more time kind of talking with the store owners, BSing, meeting people and that's what I got to do and that's what you'll see in this video that's why I was able to actually get so much footage is because I had a little bit more free time than I had last year so I was able to really go around there meet all the owners we could see all the rare video games I got to go in an hour before every day so Friday Saturday Sunday my VIP pass before the the place was overtaken by you know, over 10,000 people so hopefully you guys enjoy the video and at the end of the video I'll show you guys what games I got I didn't get many to be honest with you but I got I got at least I got one game that I was excited about and it's a Nintendo cart variant so I was pretty excited to get that it's not one i've seen out in the wild before and for the vip it did come with a exclusive nintendo switch game by premium edition games that i'll show you guys at the end so stay tuned hope you guys enjoy it Ever. Kotor. 
got uh, got some happy naked babes. Always a good thing. Conquer's bad fur day. Box Game Boy. The OG Game Boy. That's the 89 Game Boy right there. And looks like we got the uh, Ocarina of Time Flex Edition. Box. Looks nice. I used to have that until my brother, my oldest brother, he stepped on the box. That'd be worth a lot of money now. Wow, look at some of these mighty final fight box. We got DuckTales too. So this one I have at home. This is one of my favorites. This one's so rare. It's going for 260. And that's loose. I have it loose as well. Kid Icarus for Game Boy, Funk, Adventure Island. These are, this is, this is a nice case. This is ultra rare. Like, you got Kid Dracula for Game Boy, 2,800. The thing is that this isn't a crazy price. Like, none of these prices, we're probably not gonna see any bad prices here. You get good deals here. So this is, this is pretty wild, but this gives you an idea of what these boxed the games go sell. for. Yeah, I mean, they're, everything here is from my personal collection, and it's mint. I've been collecting for 30 years. Okay. And this is like, so everything I've, I've collected, this is the end of the line stuff. This is the stuff that was the mintest in my collection. Oh, wow, man. Yeah. So, like, if you look at a lot of this stuff, like, that feels like a gold system back there. Yeah, the mint condition. Um, and then all the games, too. Like, they're... They're, they're not only mint, but they have like the registration cards, the posters, whatever. Every game with, yeah. Damn, man. Yeah, I can tell these games, they all look beautiful. And Thank you. I've been, I've been collecting for a solid 30 years as well. Solid. And uh, I never like sold any of my game systems and everything works. And everything that I bought, when I bought it new, if I bought it new, it's still in mint condition. It doesn't matter how many times I moved, put in the boxes, it was like with ultra care. So I can yeah. tell you did this, you've done the same thing because these games are When I was a kid, great. then I would get an NES game, keep the box and the manual and everything together. Uh, so like, I would buy like, I would get Super Mario Brothers 2. When I beat it, I would sell it at my parents' garage sale. I had a little showcase like this. Yeah. And I'd sell them at my parents' garage sale. And I'd get like 40 bucks for them because they were like, they were still new, and I, and I, you know, I would uh, buy a new console or a new game with that money. Yeah. You kept doing that. Yeah, that's how you did it back then. Before we go get jobs, that's how you made money, man. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, this is awesome. Thank it's you. really impressive. I'm gonna definitely be swinging by here again uh, okay. throughout the weekend. I'll be here all weekend. What's your name? Jeff. Steve. Yeah. Good to meet you, brother. Awesome stuff, man. Yeah. Wow. Pokemon Heart Gold 2000. That's wild. Super Mario RPG the shirt I'm wearing. 150. Or you can get the remake. It's coming out in November for 60. Or you can just get both. Nice. So you know my. I have these cards. I, have, I got that box that's factory sealed. These tops right here. So I'm still debating if I want to open them, but these are the cards that are in there. Oh, look at the Check out some of the prices here. Got five bucks, ten bucks. Little TNC Town and Country Surf Designs six. You gotta scroll through here see if you find any gems. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're okay. <laughs> little Mermaid, Little Runner. Snake Rattle on Rolls is a good one. So that's the... So we've got a lot of Sega games here. What's Laser Action? <laughs> Pioneer Laser Action. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to look that up. Let's try it. Interesting. Octopath Trailer. 
Hardware yeah, factory sealed, 80 bucks. It's a nice one right here. Here, solar. That's pretty rad. That's worth the price. Chrono trigger sighting, 299. Third party box. Oh, here, 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 look at that. There it is, Joshua right there. And spiritual warfare. Adventure Island on the Turbo Graphics. That's a nice, nice piece there. Super rare 3DS XL, 600 bucks. Super Nintendo one. Complete box Super Mario World. Yo, man. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, I like yours too, man. <laughs> they got they got a factory sealed Play Fighter 2 for Super Nintendo. Play Fighter 2 corner box, which is actually not a bad deal. We got a 9.8 graded Pokemon Diamond version. 4K. Keep those games in good condition. Get them graded. Better investments than anything the stock market can provide. A lot safer too. Super Nintendo. NES stuff right here. Look for any things. Is it you don't know more? You ever heard of any of your games in here? Is there your rare ones? They're more rare. They just didn't fit here. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna check that out. Let's see. Do you like that red one? Wally Bear, that is rare. Looks like Ghost like Lion, or, oh my. For like 80 bucks. Zombie Nation, I just got this for NES and Switch. But the repackaged for This is the original. Bugsley Scavenger Rock, this game belongs to Jesse. For some reason, that's what kids did in the 80s and 90s. They wrote their names on their cartridges. If I bought this, nobody can see it. See why? Not for resale. You get caught with one of these, you're in deep shit. So it was 159 new, but now 800. That's racks on racks on racks right there. I have this game, but for regular Nintendo, Jay and Silent Bob Mall Brawl. Awesome game. Here's a Nintendo game not made by Oh yeah, Coleco, man, the classic. Hey, look, check this out. So, remember how I went through my collection to see like what five screw NES games I have? This is one of them, Goonies. Here's a five screw Goonies going for 90 bucks. Glad I have it. <laughs> this is a good one right here. Kimba. Underrated game. Damn. This label's seen better days. Hey. See this Tyson's punch out? 40 bucks. You get the bullet points there. See the bullet points? The actual bullet's white with orange text. And then look at this one. This one is orange with the orange text. So there's different variants of Mike Tyson's punch out. Some more rare than others. Yeah, that's just dragons. I have a If they had like a Yo Noid one, I would uh, I would have to get that. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, you don't have a uh, Yo Noid pizza one, do you? For the uh, the pizza, you don't have Yo Noid, do you? No. Domino's. Uh, I sure don't. All right, cool, man. That's a good idea, though. Yeah, you know what? If you ever do it, I thought about that one. 
Yonoid is a really good video game too for Nintendo. Like, whole, whole classic. These are cool. That's a nice piece. That should be front and center. Oh, that's good. IPS? Uh, yeah, it'll be IPS and it'll be uh, Funny Pike. Cool, man. Nice. Oh, that's sick. So I, ha I have this screen right here for my GameCube. And when we, uh, when I worked at Water and Ice, when it was slow during the summer, it was super hot and people weren't going out. I'd bring this to work and we'd play NBA Live. We'd have NBA Live tournaments <laughs> while we were working. Because of this screen, it was great. And it was so compact that you could hide it in case the owners came in. 400, it's got an HDMI mod on it. This is actually a better deal for the game than when it came out. When this game came out, it was $79.99 at Toys R Us. Right? Do you remember that? Yeah. It was crazy. So mom's like, you sure you want to get this game? It's going to be $80. But it was good. I still have it. All right, guys. So again, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the content today and the behind the scenes look. And like I promised you guys, I wanted to show you what games I picked up. So the first one is going to be Mike Tyson's Punch Out. So you can see right there, it's got the white bullet points, okay? This is a first print copy of Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Now I'm gonna show you the copy I've owned previously and show you the difference. So I'm a long time Mike Tyson's Punch-Out fan ever since I was a kid when I first played it when it first came out. So to me this was pretty exciting to find a first print Mike Tyson's Punch-Out because again I've never seen that out in, out in the wild before. You can tell if it's a first print Mike Tyson's Punch-Out game is by the white bullet points. If it has the white bullet points it's going to be a first print. A second print is going to be the orange bullet points. And on the back of the cartridge a second print will say revision A and an original print will have no revision listed at all on the back. So that's what I got for regular Nintendo and then this is the game that came with the VIP pass and this is Mighty Fight Federation by Premium Edition Games. And you can see it's got the Game On Expo logo on the back, which is pretty cool. There was only 300 copies of this game sold, which is pretty cool because there was over 10,000 people came through the doors on Saturday, not even counting Friday and Sunday. Hope you enjoyed a behind the scenes look of the Game On Expo and kind of got an idea of what it's like to go up and down the aisles and see what kind of games there are out there, what retro games are available and what the prices look like and again I tried to give you guys a good idea of what the prices look like for games that are graded especially the older games I mean in this video we saw a Pokemon game for Nintendo DS going for four thousand dollars so again there is a market if you buy games and keep them sealed there's a market to get those graded and sit on those games you just sit on them for many years and they do go up in price. I've watched it happen. Now that doesn't mean you, you can't ever play the game. For me, I, I buy the games digitally for the most part and physically. So either way, I'm always going to end up playing the game because I buy the games both physically and digitally. Does it cost more money? Yes, of course it does, but I think it's a really good investment to buy some of these games and keep them factory sealed because again I've seen it over and over and over again over the years so it's pretty cool to see that there's a way to invest in video games outside of the stock market and buying you know shares in Nintendo or shares in in Sony. I like this way a lot better. I think it's a lot more fun and it seems to be a lot more safer in my opinion just looking at prices of the games over the years. So once again guys thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video please like it, share, and subscribe if you haven't already the channel. Thanks. Have a great day. Hey guys if you enjoyed this video please smash the like button and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel. Over here to the left, you can see all my social media. I do all my video game live streaming over on Twitch at Thundersteve85. Once again, guys, thanks for tuning in, 
And remember, you're never too old to play video games.